Earlier on Great Day Live, Casa of the River Region CEO and President William Myers joined us. Here's the rest of that conversation. Here's some a little bit of positivity. During 2019, CASA advocated for 619 abused and neglected children. And as of June 30th, just of this year, you've already served 423 children. And that's not that's not the good news. But what is, and this is something we always look for on Great Day Live, great ways that people can serve and give back. With COVID-19, CASA volunteers have gone above and beyond insofar as, as they can to connect with children virtually and phone calls and text messages. And then, William, you know this, I mean, doing things like delivering items for mental and physical care, and that includes things like hula hoops and sidewalk talk and, you know, items that remind kids that they're kids and that they're cared for. Mm -hmm. We, and that's our, our biggest goal. We, we really want children to know that somebody out there is going to be their mentor, their guide, and their advocate. And that's what we really do. And so our volunteers go above and beyond to, as you, as you noted, visit our kids, provide them with things that will keep them physically and emotionally and mentally stimulated, and really to reach out to let them know that someone cares. And it, it's a great opportunity because we have lots of different ways to do that right now. It can be done virtually. It can be done at safe social distancing. There are lots of ways that people can still check in on kids and ensure that they're getting attention and care, and then also be able to report back to court virtually, because as, as you noted, our family court judges and all of the court staff are really going above and beyond right now to try to make things work. Now, CASA, of course, stands for Court Appointed Special Advocates. I mean, we even with or without COVID, William, I mean, that's a big name, Court Appointed Special Advocate. But what does it take for someone to become a CASA volunteer? So to become a CASA volunteer, you have to be over the age of 21. You cannot have a current case in family court, and you must pass a background check. And all you do is go to our website, casariverregion.org, and you fill out an application, and then somebody will be in contact with you to do the interview and to go through the training. Our training is all virtual now, so you don't have to worry about potential impacts of COVID uh, to your health. You can do it all online. And then we will we'll get a case for you to, to work with the child, to, to get to know them, even at a distance or virtually, and to really be their advocate. I know several people who have taken that step and become volunteers and they say that it's life changing, but also they have asked to share. You don't have to. I mean, it is CASA. It's a big it's, it's an acronym that stands for a big name. But if you have the heart for it, you can do this, too. You can. I mean, it's it's a long term impact. When you mentor a child, when you advocate for them, you're really changing their life because you're showing them that someone out there cares for them. And you're working with all those people who already support children. Again, uh, teachers, social workers, physicians, everybody who uh, provide a community for that child. And you're one more person to let them know that they're loved. Volunteers are imperative to CASA, but William, so are donations. I didn't realize this, but 100% of your budget is comprised of individual donations, special events, and grants. And uh, I mean, so many nonprofits, and yours included, are projected to have a massive loss due to canceled fundraising events and decrease in donations. And you need that help right now. They, we do. Uh, so CASA, we really operate in a way that's very efficient and effective, but we do have a mandate that we have to have one staff person for every 30 volunteers. And so donations help to provide volunteers the supportive staff they need to really do their best and to advocate as best as they can. And so we are looking for donations. We do anticipate a drop because we can't have any events. And so all of the donations that come in really make a big impact on allowing us to serve more children, to advocate for them, and to give us the resources to try to touch all the children in our community, which is our ultimate goal. And with what feels like a fluid situation, in particular, say, with school-aged children mm -hmm. and not having the contact points with certain people, 
as you would in a normal school year. William, how important is it right now? I mean, if you can't volunteer, donate, but if you can volunteer, check out CASA. How important are those volunteers right now? They're really vital. I mean, you know, they are they are the front line of making sure that kids are getting the care and attention that they need. They are, as I said, visiting virtually or at a safe distance with the child in person. And, and they really are just making such life changing impacts to the kids to, to let them know, you know, what's possible that someone cares for them and to help them navigate the complexities of the court system and get lots of stakeholders stakeholders involved so that the kids can have the best possible outcome. Thank you for taking the time. I appreciate Thank it. You. To donate or become a voice for CASA, visit casariverregion.org or call 502-595-4911.